Every child goes through several stages of development. To understand the child better, the adult, be it the parent or professional, should know the characteristics of development stages. What should we know about the child's first year of life? The child is totally dependent on the person taking care of them. The child develops feelings of attachment towards the parent care provider, which ensures an emotional, protective relationship towards them. The child recognizes close persons in the family and reacts to strangers. The child learns emotions by imitating the parents or other close persons. Communicates needs through movements, facial expression, crying. The child gets to know their environment by discovering various objects, knows the ones which make noise, the ones which move, the ones they like, the ones not to be touched. Physically, when the child turns one, they develop elements of walking, crawling, assisted walking, and finally, independent walking. What are the characteristics for the stage between one and three years of age or early childhood? The child's movement is much more independent. At the same time, they remain dependent on the parent providing support and protection. The child is very curious and impatient to learn how each object works and is very active. They have a rich imagination and can create unusual characters and events. The egocentrism is specific for this age. More and more, the child understands their uniqueness. At the same time, the primary negativism appears, when the child resists by crying, screaming. The child does not really cooperate with other children, but wishes to communicate. They ask the parents, care providers, to play with them. The child is sensitive. Sudden swings from laughter to crying can occur, for no apparent reason. The mood depends on meeting their needs. child like at the age of three to six, seven years old? The child is more autonomous, feeds themselves, dresses and removes clothes, chooses toys to play with, etc. The main activity is playing. It's through play the child explores, learns, and develops the ability to relate to others. The magical thinking is specific to this age. Everything surrounding the child is animated. Being curious, the child asks many questions. They can recount past, present, and future events, but with no specification of time or date. At the same time, many of the events may be invented. Important, the child can tell about the place of an event by associating it with an event in their life. The child learns the basic skills of reading and writing. The four- to five-year-old child's attention span can be around 20 to 25 minutes, and that of a six- to seven-year-old can be 25 to 40 minutes. The child becomes more confident, develops independent and controlled behavior, and starts to understand the opinions of others. happening with the child between 6 and 11 years old? The main activity is learning. Playing still has an important place, but it is gradually replaced by learning. The young school-aged child gradually shifts from concrete thinking to logical thinking. The ability to understand the cause-effect relationship develops as well as the perception of time and space. 
the child can focus for 30 to 45 minutes. That's why recreation breaks are absolutely necessary. The child's responsibility for their action increases. Hence, the parent's control decreases. In this context, the sense of duty appears of affiliation with the school or class. From an emotional point of view, the child goes through intense emotions and feelings, but doesn't yet have the ability to control them. They are attracted to forbidden and unknown things. The child understands everything happening in the family, conflicts, fights, breakups, and can explain certain things as well as express an opinion and take a stand in a situation. What is specific for the preteen age? The child manifests a strong tendency of independence, in parallel with the need of protection and affection from adults. The child's inner life develops, initiative and goal establishment appear. Sexual maturation creates tense emotions, confusion and discomfort for the child. The child keeps searching for their self. This is the age of searches. The search process is often unorganized. For example, they get dressed while walking, shout, joyfully recount, gesticulate, laugh out loud. You can hardly control them. The best path is over the fence, ditch, where they have to make brisk, more energetic moves, where more activity is required. The child experiences a wide range of feelings, such as restlessness, anxiety, irritability, uncertainty, insecurity, joy, enthusiasm and happiness. Sudden mood swings occur. Relationships with the opposite sex intensify. The child has a tendency towards self-affirmation in the peer group. Their opinion counts more than the parents. The relationship with parents becomes tense. The child is rebellious, opposing, generates conflicts and uses vulgar or offensive language. Teenage mean? Teenage is the final stage of childhood manifested through getting out from under the parents and school control and integration into the social life. Here we have passion, romance, spontaneity. The child is a nonconformist, actively fights to fulfill their wishes, confronts and opposes the adult world. They create their own value system regarding justice, equality, dignity. The child's view of the world and life forms. Self-awareness appears. The child realizes who they are and what they are like, what they represent for others and for themselves, what their goals and their ideals are, what they want to become. The fluctuation of emotions can be observed, mood swings. Knowing the age characteristics allows us to better understand the child, understand the child's emotions and behavior, build a positive relationship with the child. This way we ensure good growth and development, a good training for adult life. Knowing the child opens doors to their world. Protect your children.